for the old stanza of the national anthem. It says, do time and tongue may differ in brotherhood we stand. Let the labors of our heroes past not be in vain. At the beginning, there was so much agitation from the south-south. The Niger Delta Avengers came up, not too long, I pop, my soap came up, and lately it has been train of banters between RL1 youth and those agitating for Biafra. But on a proactive note, the acting president in the last couple of weeks has embarked on consultations with stakeholders in the north, in the south, and indeed the governors of the 36th of the Federation, including the F City, on the need for tensions to be doused in the country. That is the message. And most leaders of thought in the country have said that the indivisibility of Nigeria remains sacrosanct. That will be the focus of this segment of the program today. We are looking at why must we tinker towards separation in Nigeria when we are a big, huge family. Well, I have to sustain this conversation. A legal practitioner. I'm currently the legal advisor to the Ishekri National Youth. I'm a believer in the social political philosophy. Robinson Ario, thanks for joining me on Insights. Thank you very much and um, a good day to you. Robinson is a legal practitioner based in Delta State. I also have with me comrade Albert Yimiru Weyimi. He is the president of Ishekri National Youth Council. It's my pleasure to have you on Insights. Yes, master. Okay, let's talk to this issue. We are one big family, and we have come this far, hitting almost 100 plus years as a nation. Is it time for us to talk, talk about separation? Um, right away, my immediate response to, me, to that would be that absolutely no time. And the time will really not come. You see, it is good for us to move for, from the cause of this agitation to a solution to it. Now, basically, the national anthem in Nigeria is marginalization, marginalization, marginalization. And so you hear frequently the news of minority and marginalization. But how well do we understand the meaning of minority? Now, for the purpose of explanation, let's take Nigeria before this time. We had this northern and southern protectorates. Now, in relation to each other, you would think that the Southern Protectorate is minority to the Northern Protectorate for the purpose of discussion. Now, where we went from, we now had six sub-regions. You had the South East, the South South, the South West, the North just like that, six. At this point in time, you could also, in relation to each other, you could look at the, the Southeast as a relative minority to some other region. And then we came to the era of states from 19 to 36. Now, for the purpose of understanding this issue of minority, let us zoom into a state that is a microcosm of Nigeria, that's Delta State. In Delta State, you have five ethnic groups. You have the Anomas called the Delta Ibos, you have the Jaws, you have the Shekins, you have the Nobos, and you have the Sopos. These are five ethnic groups. Now, among these five ethnic groups, you will discover that the process of allotting the resources of the state creates a feeling of isolation and exclusion for the people to the extent that in an attempt to solve it, some people will want to call for a state of their own or for a region of their own. But the question is, will that approach solve the problem? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not to solve the problem. Now, we agree that within the other state, there are some ethnic groups that are feeling marginalized. Now, within each of these ethnic groups, if you zoom into Ishekiri, for instance, there are some sections of Ishekiri that feel that they are being marginalized. So you can see that this DNA of marginalization is something that cascades from the top down. So until you create each home, even within the home, there are some components of the form that feel marginalized. So you, if you look at this mathematically, you will discover that it's not a viable approach. So, so, so what does it mean? Within even those agitating for yes, there are people who are marginalized. For example, there's the 
they also cast. Those are people that are regarded as subhumans within Biafra. And so by saying how Biafra, they will agitate that we are not being um, treated as equal with others. And so, so, so even within the majority, we have minorities. Of course. And within the minorities, we have minorities, minorities. Exactly. So we move off uh, there. Now, so what's your position on this? My position on this is clear, that uh, as uh, the national president of the Shakri National Health Council, I don't want to bother about what happens in, uh, with IPOP, I don't want to bother about what happens with uh, the other ones. But my what concerns me is the welfare of my Shakri people. In the marriage we enter as at uh, 1914, it seems to us now that the marriage is no longer comfortable. We are not comfortable with the marriage. Well, because, actually, because, since, because before we came into this uh, amalgamation called Nigeria, we were fairly better, far better. Of course, it's interesting to note that we were fairly well with uh, the, the Europeans. In the, during the period of uh, the two amalgamation era, we were fairly well with the Europeans in doing good business. We have our own palaces. We must have heard of the Numa. It has us yes. right now. The point is that we have since left there. We are now in Nigeria. You hear what he said? Yes. It is not the time to separate. We, 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 when a marriage, when a marriage is working, you know. When it's not working, you also know. So do we, do we, does that call for everlasting problems? Call for? Does it not call for reconciliation? Yes, it does call for the uh, reconciliation. It is the theory with which the reconciliation is going to, uh, the, the theory that is going to be placed on the board for reconciliation that will determine the extent to which reconciliation can go. For example, as an Ishekri man, for the first time many days I've been in the creek, it pains me so much that Whereas if I come to Abuja now, you see uh, bridges and uh, networks of road crossing everywhere. But Abuja does not have a drop of a uh, single drop of oil. The point clearly is this: all this has been put on the table. Yes, enunciated that. Yeah. Now, as a leader of the Ijo, not Ijo, the Ijo National Youth Council, yes. if they ask you yes. what you have said. What is the way forward? We say way forward for us as a is true federalism. Okay. True federalism, true federalism and fiscal, true uh, fiscal federalism, true federalism and uh, fiscal federalism to the extent that each ethnic nationality, the basis upon which the federal federal system should be driven should be on the basis of ethnic nationality. Okay. Once there is true federalism to the extent that when you produce any resources. We should be able to manage that resources and perhaps pay a certain percentage of that resources as starts to the federal government. So by your, by your analogy now, you stand by the fact that the tensions and the decisions are really not necessary. It's just the way forward. So the issue of separation is not what you're taking. I'm not saying they are not necessary. I'm not saying also that they, they are necessary. What I'm saying is that it is a reaction to something. Okay. If you, in a marriage, if, you in a, if you are in a marriage, in a relationship, and that relationship is not co uh, convenient for you, what do you do? You react. In elementary physics, we have what we call who's law. Of course, if you get to a point where the mood starts exerting pressure on, on the, uh, this, it will get to a point where it will lead. The reason why you are seeing agitations everywhere all over this country is because it's at the point of wanting to yield. We pray that it does not get beyond that extent. For example, I was going to point that it is Shekin is. No, I said, let, let, me, let me emphasize something to you. Let me, let, me, let, me clearly, let me clearly emphasize something to you. That uh, uh, Barista, the legal advisor to the council, when he was uh, talking to you, he said uh, that uh, the, uh, he was talking about marginalization. The case of the Shekin is not that of marginalization, it's about total deprivation. If you know what we go through, that we are alive in this country, in this marriage, in this social contract, and producing over 35% of what it takes to sustain the economy of this country, and we have nothing at home that we talk for it, and you call it marriage? Okay, we'll get there. <laughs> All right. So, you have heard him. Yeah, I have. You, you, you raised an issue, yeah. and it followed up. Yeah. So, Government has sustained, and the message clearly has been: we are a family, yeah. and in the course of dousing the tensions, consultations have been going on, and already when the governors went to their various states, they are still inclusive. The message has been: everybody is accommodated. Whatever you find yourself, whether you are an Ishekri man or you are an Ibo man, you are a Yoruba man, you are an ethnic man, you find yourself anywhere other than where you come from, you are at home. So. Saying that moving forward now, what will you be saying? 
Well, I quite appreciate this theme that we well, emitted just now, and I felt I felt it. Uh, why I agree, you know, completely with him, there is something I want to place on the table, and that is what actually is the problem, because it's a problem solution approach that we should be looking at. Do you think talking about the problem is you kind of give us the solution? No, so, you see, they are, they are related, the yes, they are related to each other. Okay, so not that. Now, in order to get to your solution, you have to first of all do a diagnosis and know what the problem is. And that's why a doctor usually does the blood tests and other tests before giving the treatment. Only that you don't dwell too much on the problem. The Nigerian state, like every social contract, is an agreement by all its components oh. that we should surrender our rights to a sovereign called the government in, in exchange so. for the protection of our lives, our property, and the provision of our enabling environment for us to maximize our potentials. But that social contract has failed. And that is why some of these agitations are necessary, but only to the extent of forcing the stakeholders to call for the table to discuss. Okay. Why I support the agitations, not to the extent of balkanizing Nigeria, but to the extent of getting the key actors to be serious enough and know that there is an emergency. Yes, well, so the, government, the, solution. the solution is this. Government should play its role. Government should ensure that the laws, no, no shifting of goalposts. Whether you are the, you are the senior president, whether you are the president, whether you are the governor, let us start seeing that there is rule of law. Like the president said, although I've only seen much of that in utterances, that change begins with me. Let the change truly begin. Should the change begin, a lot of people, a lot of these tensions will be doused. And how will the change begin? The change will be begin where if the highest citizen of this country commits a crime, he is brought to book. Okay, let me take you on now. Yes. Is it all about government? Do the citizens also have a role to play? You and I, we are Nigerians. Yeah. If we don't complement what government is doing yes. to, to us getting the rights, yes. and we are complacent, we are lackluster, yeah. will, it, will, it, will it move forward? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, agree. I agree with you. Part of what we are doing is this. Here is a citizen of this great country. He has come forward and told you what our pains are. I expect that the government will take note and pen, pen and note this. Because communication is a two-way thing. How do I feel? What are my pains? You address, you start at least giving me listening ear. Are you listening to me? How many times do people feel hot and they write petitions that the government will call these people and listen to them and talk to them? Okay. We have had some leaders in this country say they can't talk to those people. And when you can't talk, how can we solve the problem? So part of what we are doing here, and we are doing a great work. Is trying to highlight what the problems are from the real stakeholders from the creek. And I'm telling you that these are the problems. We have a country, you see, it may interest you to know that civilians have engaged the military of this country to a standstill in a state where we say we have a problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, what the government should do, like I'm saying, is that the government should listen to all this. There should be a round table, not the kind of pendantic and cosmetic roundtables we'll be having. A sincere roundtable. It is not enough for the number one citizen of this country to fly to the Niger Delta for one day and come back for the first time and assume that he has the solution. He said it will be continuous. Good. He said so. For how, for how long now? You know, you see, you see it, it's like... The, co the consultations are... Yes. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take on... Uh, 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 we you know. your boss, yes. Yes. Now, you are a youth leader, yes. and the youths are the leaders of tomorrow. Yes. You have agreed with me to the fact that Nigeria cannot separate. We are all together. As you are going back to your youths, giving the message the acting president has been giving, either you have been consulting people to say, look, let us shift the sword. The tensions are, are over. Let us think of the way forward. As a leader, you are a leader today as the leader of the Ishekri National Youth Council. When you go back, what message will you be telling them with regards to Nigeria being together? In as much as government has identified your grievances, are you saying you don't just listen at all? It, 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 is, it is difficult. If I live here now to go and tell them, because I, I know what they feel, how they feel, what, they, what, what they've been going through. And uh, in one of our recent publications, we were very categorical in telling the government that 
all of this were the things we inherited from, from the generations before us, and that we have vowed that we are not going to transfer them to the generations after us. Yes, as a leader, we are doing our best. We are, doing our best. Best. we are doing our best, but it will only be meaningful. This best that we are doing, we say, we say, I'm going to we say, it will only be meaningful if, as I'm going back now, I'm able to tell my people, the youth over there, that yes, the era of deprivation of the Shakiris in the Nigeria equation is gone. Yes, the era of uh, 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 deprivation uh, where we lack any uh, social amenities in our communities, that era is gone. The era where uh, we have uh, worry seaport and cocoa seaport that have been suffocated, that have been deprived, prevented from being functional, that era is gone. That the era where it is only those that are uh, uh, from the other certain part of this country that are made to, 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 to that are appreciated with national awards. It is shocking that we are secretly and up till now it's on record that those who first us Okotebo died within that coup. Majority of them have been honored, given national award. Uh, our legal advice, our advisor rightly said, if today, let us forget about the jamborees of uh, all the previous uh, national conferences and conferences that have been uh, convened and, all, and convoked and all that. Let's keep all of that aside. For the first time, the signals, the indications are not clear. They are not good uh, for, for the reputation of this country. So if the acting president or the presidency is interested in the way forward to see how we can come back as a more united country, where we all have not been Yes, no, yes. we have not been come back. In spirit, in spirit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, if they are serious about it, they should immediately, without wasting any time, convoke a national conference okay. where where representative will be on the basis of ethnic representation. Okay, thank you very much for that. Yeah. Now, to, to tie up this segment, we're not yeah. doing it all the time. Yeah. Talk to Nigerians. You are speaking to Nigeria just in one sentence. What message do you have for Nigerians? I'm not talking. Delta, I'm yeah. not talking yeah. Cross River, I'm not talking uh, Adamawa, I'm not yeah. talking uh, Lagos State, Nigeria. My message for Nigeria is the Nigerian government should take the role of a government. Let the government play the role of a government. The origin of the society we are in now is traceable to Thomas Hobbes, who said that the society was short, brutish, and nasty. And so we are in a state of nature. We agree to surrender our rights to the, to the government. Let the government truly be a government, in which case the government will be able to enforce, the government will be the true Le 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 Leviathan, will be able to enforce rules, enforce laws. For instance, let us take some areas where the government, federal government has made laws, federal government has made laws about where should be headquarters of a local government. That, those laws still persist, and yet government still recognizes the illegally relocated local government and keeps it as such. Okay. So government cannot appropriate and appropriate at the same time. We have constituencies where judgments have been entered that there should be two constituencies here. Government is not so treating it. Okay. So Let me these are issues. Time on this. Yeah. So just your last words for Nigerians. Rule of law, enforcement of the rule of law because we are in a constitutional democracy. And to the youth, eternal vigilance. If the political leaders want us to go uh, to the uh, right hand side, we'll go with them. If they want us to go to the left hand side, we are watching them. Eternal vigilance. Thank you so much. I've been speaking with uh, Robin Barrio Esquire. He's uh, the legal advisor, a legal a person based in Warri, Delta State, and a philosopher, a believer in the social political philosophy of. Nigeria being one, right? Yeah. It was nice talking with you on inside. I was you. also speaking with uh, Comrade Agbati Nibiro Weimi. He is the President of Shakiri National Youth Council. Thanks for your thoughts. And I believe your message has been passed across. Up next.